I'd like to show you a new fence system that works with tools with a rotating bit, such as a router, a drill press, a shaper, and so forth. I call the system a pivoted fence with locating posts. And I like to show you how it automatically centers a piece for a cut in the center, how we can then use that thought to position the fence for any cut we desire using spacers or measuring means attached to the locating post. Then I'd like to demonstrate a unique feature of this particular fence that allows me to hold a piece against the fence and make a cross cut that's perpendicular to the edges of the board or a dado. And then we'll show you a few other products that use the same pivoted fence with low picating post concept. Now to get the system ready to make accurate setups, all we do is take the locating post, drop it in the pivot hole, and now we're ready to make accurate setups. And I'll first show you how it automatically centers for a cut. Here's a piece now that will show you the automatically centering feature. There's no cuts on it or marks this time. We set it to locate it simply between the locating post and the fence. Snug up the piece and the fence against the locating post. Clamp the fence. Remove the locating post because it doesn't need to be here when we make the cut. The fence has already been properly located. see we located it in the center very accurately since I held each face against the fence and made part of the cut and we can't see where it overlaps and so that is very accurately centered. Now that we understand that we actually set the center of the bit to half the distance of whatever we place between the locating post and the fence, we can use that to accurately set up any job. For example, using an accurate uh, drill bit, in this case a three-quarter of an inch bit, if I set it here and snug up the fence against the bit and clamp it, I've then accurately set the drill bit center, three or the center of the router bit, three eighths of an inch from the face of the fence. So we have all types of possibilities for spacers, keys, other drill bits, sheets of metal. However, on the other hand, if we would prefer to actually make measurements rather than using spacers, we can accomplish that simply by setting some measuring means on our locating post. We would set the, the distance to twice the setup distance that we desired, drop the locating post into place, bring the fence up and clamp it, and now we've set the setup distance to half of that space. Now other locating means can be used such as we have shown some examples here. Now, on the other hand, all the measurements that we've been talking about have been from the center of the router bit. Let's say we had a half inch bit in place in the router. If I then take a half inch drill bit and place it between the fence and the locating post, that means the face of my fence just matches the rear of my bit. In that case, if I then put another spacer in between the bit and the fence, I've accurately set the face of the fence relative to the rear of the bit to half the distance of this spacer. On the other hand, if we wanted to set it 
located relative to the front of the bit, we have a special locating post that we've set up for different bits. Here's a quarter inch bit, five eighths, one half, or three eighths inch bit. And there, our example of a half inch bit here, I would set the half inch face. Now when I bring up the fence, it's located relative to the front of this bit. So any spacer I use then sets up the distance relative to the front of the bit. So you see the scheme allows us to very accurately, very quickly, very easily, and also repeatedly set up our work either from the center of the bit, the front of the bit, or the rear of the bit. Next I'd like to demonstrate for you how we can make a cross cut with this fence system. I'd like to now demonstrate a unique feature of this particular fence system. How we can cut a perpendicular dado when I hold it against my fence and pivot it. Ordinarily you would expect that to cut an arc. However with this system it will cut a perpendicular dado. And we'll demonstrate that now. perpendicular to the edge of the board. So we can make some very interesting results from that. First of all, that means that if I take a jig, like this box jig, and attach it to the fence, I can cut box joints. And of course, I obviously could attach other jigs as well. It also means that if I wanted to cut a blind mortise that was larger than my bit, I could do that and move the fence and wouldn't have to relocate any stop blocks. Further, I can cut rather interesting designs on legs or whatever that I might like to have them using this concept. Next, I'd like to show you few other products that can use the pivoted fence and locating post concept. Now we have another number of different products that can also use the post and pivot fence concept. Here we have a drill press set up with a pivoting fence and locating post. Here the router being used as a portable router has the a base plate with the post and pivot fence concept attached. Of course, I can remove the post when we're actually using the router. Here is the idea of using a drill bit where we set the face of the fence uh, accurately relative to the drill guide. Finally, we have a couple jigs that allow us to make convert other router tables to the post and pivot fence concept. Well, now we have shown you how the post and pivot concept can be used to automatically center a workpiece, how this leads to means for which we can easily, accurately, quickly, and repeatedly set up the work either from the rear of the bit, the center of the bit, or the front of the bit. We've then shown you how this fence has a unique property of being able to make a perpendicular cross cut or dado cut. And then finally, some other products that can use the post and pivot fence concept.